Hello everyone, I wanted to share with you guys this um, set that I did on a friend of mine and it's just a simple French manicure but you know the French manicure to me is a classic style you know never out of style and um, looks really good. Um, right here I already prepared the nail, I filed, I pushed back the cuticle, took off all the dead skin cells and I just dehydrated the nail. Um, I filed the nail then dehydrated with um, NSI's um, dehydrator. Uh, right here is the mix that I make. I'm going to put the link to the video. It's called Diamonds, the mix. And since it's very translucent, I just added half uh, of the size of the cuticle pusher of white acrylic. Um, I'm testing it out right here. So it's my mix, Diamonds, because she wanted a French tip, but she wanted something with, um, you know, glitter in it. So my mix already has glitter. I just needed to add some white acrylic so it can be opaque. Right here, I'm going to prime the nail with the NSI's Attraction Acid-Free Primer. I'm just putting it very good all over the nail. And I start with the nail bed, okay? I'm using NSI's Purely Pink. That's the color that I'm going to use for the nail bed. I didn't add anything to it. That's all I used, NSI's Purely Pink. I start out where the smile line is and I try to make that bead a little drier than the rest like you could see I kind of took out the liquid on the napkin because it's easier for me to um, work with it with the acrylic when it's a little drier especially on that area the smile line area then the other two beads that I use um, they're normal you know they're not too dry not too wet and the one that I'm gonna put at the, this last one by the cuticle I make sure I put the finger down so it won't, you know, it won't drip up and it'll just, um, you know, get very well blended with the other beads. Now I'm going to start with the my mix that I, that I made, you know, the diamonds mix with the white. I make sure that I go all the way up and make sure that the smile line is very well defined. And then I just make sure I clean the sides and the front because I've experienced that when you keep it clean since you're making the nail, you know, um, you don't have to file that long. So, you know, it, let's make sure that try to every step that you do make it very well so that way it, it, it takes time away from the filing. Okay. Now that I put um, the white part on all the nails, I'm going to encapsulate with clear acrylic. I'm also using NSI's um, crystal clear acrylic and I just make sure that the nail is well leveled you know that the thickness is not too thick not too thin you know enough so that it won't break and like I said cleaning the sides very well to cut back on the filing time okay now that it's dried I'm gonna take off these nail forms these nail forms that I'm using the burgundy-ish ones are from Organic and the blue ones that I took off the pinky, they're um, a, a brand, it's called Ikana. I don't know how you say it, but it's I-K-O-N-N-A. Um, this is Organic Sunny Spray. You can use any antiseptic spray. It doesn't have to be this brand. Any antiseptic spray. I always spray it on the files before I use it and just to disinfect them. And I start out by, by filing the sides and the tip. Then, this is a safety bit. The brand's Koopa. You can tell it's rounded on top. I like to use this on my clients because it's less, you know, likely that you're gonna cut them with a drill since the carbide bits are very, you know, they're very sharp. I use this because it's safer, you know, for my client. I just feel more comfortable using these on my clients and it does the work too, so. So I, I really like using this um, bit. Um, it's called Safety Bit. The brand is Koopa. You can get it from www.koopa.com. They always put them on sale too, so you can be checking up on there. You could get them for like $5 or something when they have them on sale. Okay, after I use the drill, I get my file again. It's 100 by 100. And I just go over it, kind of shaping it, you know, taking away the lines that the drill leaves on the nail. So it's just like a quick little run through with the file. And now I'm, I'm buffing them. I'm buffing the nails to, you know, leave them smooth. 
Now with this brush, I'm just taking off all the excess um, powder that the drill leaves. And this is Synergy Wipe. It's from Organic, um, and it cleans all of the um, excess powder in it. If you don't have like a special cleanser, you can use alcohol and alcohol does the same job and this is also it's called protein bond from organic I put it on all the cuticle areas so the UV gel can adhere if you have primer you can use your primer to do this step also and I'm, I'm trying to do my videos more of my videos in English because I've had so many requests so thank you for requesting and I will do my best to do the English version of my videos from now on okay um, this is glaze and go from organic and this is what I'm using as the UV coat and after I use the glaze and go I put it in the lamp for um, three minutes each hand the UV lamp and now I have cuticle oil it could be any one that you want this one is from organic just because I have a lot of their products but it can be any cuticle oil that you have and just, you know, it's good to put it because the cuticles get, um, you know, you're, you're putting alcohol and all this stuff and you want to put that hydration back in them. And it's also a good little treat for your client whoever you're, or for yourself if you're doing them on yourself. Um, like I said, I really appreciate all the requests that I've gotten to do more English videos. I will try my best. I hope you like this design. It's very simple but classic. And thank you for watching my videos and until next time. Thanks.